This is horrible, horrible. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another video where I take you out with me on a shoot. Now, this is a shoot without any real plan at the moment. All I know is I'm meeting my friend Demi, who you might recognize from these photographs, and I have a red dress for her to wear, which is actually a maternity dress, because it turns out if you want to try and buy a long dress for a photo shoot, then maternity dresses are the way to go. Who knew? So I've got a maternity dress in the car for Demi to wear, but, I can't go to the location I wanted to go to because the forecast for tonight is terrible. It's 90% chance of rain, so I'm guessing we're gonna get wet at some point. And the place I wanted to go, which I'll save for another video, is gonna be really treacherous and dangerous if it's raining because it's gonna get very slippy underfoot. So I'm in Bolton in the UK, a place I've never been to before. So, well, I don't know what to expect, but these things usually, work out well you know <laughs> i'm sure it will all come together and if nothing else it's going to be a good laugh so yeah let's see what happens on the shoot tell you what this is an amazing place look at the views so that there is lancashire in the uk cool tower over here as well should just say as well i'm using a new mic for this video so i've got this lapel mic rather than the sony tx650 that i usually use just because i'm always worried that's going to fall off and i lose it which has happened before so please let me know in the comments if this audio is okay especially because it's very windy at the moment so if this is performing well in these conditions i'll be really impressed because say it's quite windy thankfully at the moment it's not raining but the skies do look a bit threatening so let's see what happens when Demi arrives. So the forecast was right. It is now raining really heavily, which isn't fun, but I still want to do the shoot because you know, sometimes we've just got to roll with what we've got. So we've had a look around now. It's actually a really cool place. As I say, I've never been here before. It's called Rivington Terrace Gardens. And it's really bizarre because it's not in keeping with anything that else that I've been to in the UK. There's really cool sort of archways. And that's what I want to try and use because I think there's potential there for quite a cool shot. So I have an idea in my head of what I want to do there. And there's also a Japanese garden, which isn't very Japanese, I must admit, but has a bit of a lake so there's potential there for reflection shots so i think we're going to be able to get some stuff it's just a shame that the weather is terrible i don't mind for me but it's going to be hard for demi but yeah she's so good to work with i'm sure she's not going to mind so i'm going to go back to the car now wait for demi to arrive and then we'll go back up to the arches and we'll see what we get <laughs> So I met Demi now and we're just walking back to the arches, but it's a lot harder this time. You flew up there, Demi. Machine. Should come from down there. Yeah, should we ask Demi to go back down there? And then we'll take a picture before beer. <laughs> right, nearly there. Like we're at the, the first place to do a shot, but it is awful, awful weather. The rain is coming down. And this is where I need to thank Demi and Mark. Demi, because she's got this dress on and it's, it's a really cheap dress from Amazon. And it's actually, she's wearing two maternity dresses, but done a brilliant job with them. So what the plan is, I think is we're gonna try and s s staple some of this dress. So do you want to tape it and I'll hold the umbrella? If I give you that, I won't, I won't, I won't I film you actually. <laughs> okay, can I help? I can put the camera yeah, down. Because I won't right, I'm just going to put this camera down. I'm going to help Demi <laughs> staple up I this dress. On the... <sighs> this is honestly, this is terrible weather. It's just lashing down. To be fair, it's what the forecast did say. So my plan, I don't know if I can do my actual plan. My plan was going to be, we've actually got these three archways. I was going to place Demi in the middle and try and have the red dress flying around. And then I wanted to light up the left and the right hand arch with a speed light with a magmod gel attached, a colored gel. But I think what we're gonna do first of all is just try and get Demi lit up 
in the middle because the rain is really heavy and it's going to be it's going to be tough to do this so i'm going to go we'll start off simple and we'll, we'll maybe try and try and work on it and what i think i'll do is put my camera on a tripod again my camera sony a9 is not really designed to be shooting the rain like this but we'll just have to see how it goes i'm going to put my camera on a tripod because what i'll do is take um, a few shots of Demi and then want to composite them together in Photoshop to try and you know create something really effective. I've linked to a video up here where I've done this before with, with Demi and using lots of veils. But we're indoors then in a very safe and dry environment. This is completely different because it is throwing it down. So it's just going to be very hard to do but we'll give it a go. Let's see. Okay so a good tip if you ever shoot in the rain buy clear freezer bags and you can put them around your speed lights for now I'm just gonna see what the rain looks like if the rain doesn't come we'll just go for the other one. Oh, you just pull it down yeah so a I'm gonna guess it I mean it's gonna be very close to them I mean, it's relatively dark so I'm gonna put it on the lowest power setting of 128 B we'll put on the 16th okay so the rain stops a little bit so we're gonna go for the shot that I'm really excited about, which is basically going to be a composite of Demi with lots of red flying all over the place. Now to do that, I'm going to take a number of images and I'm going to blend them together in Photoshop. If you're going to do that well, then you need to use a tripod because you need your camera to be stable so that every image is exactly the same in terms of settings and composition. The only thing that will change obviously will be the, the, um, the red dress. So I'm now on the 35 mil so this is like just the version of demi from the waist up so if you can put that nice and close mate that's it a little bit lower that looks decent yeah and a little bit further to the side so a bit more side on yeah it's good let's just quit test this and counting demi yeah so the light on demi is really good we're also getting nice bits of rain so again just to say my settings are now at 100 shutter speed f 2.5 iso 200 so you'll just be looking at the light demi if that's what that's it yeah that you look really good demi yeah that's beautiful right i've got to be very careful that we make sure we get the demi shot that was good demi that was really good and i was actually just be doing that demi but looking at the light and if you can put your right arm a little bit further behind you that's it yeah that's actually cool if you just hold it there demi like literally still beautiful yeah that's really good light thank you mark beautiful demi I'm just going to pause the video to better explain what I'm doing here, which is step one in the process of creating an image like this. I know that in the end image, I want to have parts of Demi's red dress flying all around her. And I'm going to do that by stitching together lots of different photographs, as you'll see me do in a few moments. At this point in the shoot, though, I am just concentrating on getting a good shot of Demi's face and body. So the only part of the frame which I'm concentrating on at this point Point is this area. Now once I know I've got that I then know that I can move on and take more photographs with parts of the dress in different positions around Demi. Okay Mark if you can just come completely out of it now if that's all right. So don't this isn't counting Demi I'm just going to take a shot that I can paint in. Just an empty shot. Perfect. The really important thing if you're doing a shot like this you cannot move the camera once you've started. So I'm really pleased with the settings now. So we have the version of Demi now that I'm going to be using. So now what the job is, beautiful Demi. If Demi's going to like move that around, that's good. I just, the more of these, then I'm just going to paint them in. What I'll actually do, Mark, if you don't mind, is if you can sort of just fling that one on the right side. So if you can sort of fling it and then take one step back. Yeah. That's it, perfect. Yeah, just two or three of those, please. Don't worry about the other side, Demi, that's not counting. Now that I have the base photographs of Demi, I then need to take shots of the veil in various positions around her. The more of these I have, the more options I will then have when blending all the photographs together to make the final image. It's important that Demi stays in the same spot whilst I take these shots. Mark thought he was coming out for a fun shoot. I've got him working like a dog in the rain. Nice one, mate. This is all for one photograph. I 
I'm pretty sure we've got enough. So basically what I've got there is probably like 30 or 40 shots of Demi with the dress all around. And what I'm now gonna do, if you're in my Patreon, I'm gonna pass you over to me in Photoshop and you're gonna see me editing them all together. If you're not in my Patreon, here is the final result. Now it wasn't my intention when filming this shoot, but I'm going to split this video across two parts. So in part two, you can see me taking these photographs. Also, apologies for the audio in parts of this video. Due to the rain, I pulled my coat up really high and that meant that the lapel mic was just too close to my mouth, so apologies for that. I will remember to make sure that I have it lower in the future. And again, a huge thank you to both Demi and Mark for helping me with this video. As I said before, shoots like this are a real team effort, especially in crazy heavy rain like this. And they were both amazing, so thank you both very much again i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have i would really appreciate it if you could please leave a like on the video and please let me know what you think of the final photograph in the comments so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in part two